In this video, we want to continue on and remove pretty much all of these from our character blueprint and instead set them up inside of our actual HUD class that we have created here, which will also in turn allow us to remove this from our header to clean it up even farther. So what we want to do for starters is have simple public functions. So we're going to have void and let's just call it on fire and void on load. So we're going to have both of those. And we also want to have, on top of that, some blueprint events that we can easily trigger. So I want to have a protected section here for those. And I want to put those as back as a uh, public functions that we can call. So inside of here, we want to have U function, blueprint implementable event, category. I'm just going to set to tutorial and do void. Let's do uh, on current ammo changed. And we want to take in F text, new text, like so. Then the exact same thing for total ammo as well. So new current ammo text and new total ammo text. So let's work on our on fire first, but let's create both definitions. So on fire is going to call on current ammo changed and pass in the constructed text, well, the text that we want to construct. So in order to do that, what we can do is we can just pass in the ammo to on fire. So let's go ahead and just do uint, let's see, what size am I using? I'm using int32, that's right, because I'm trying to access them from blueprint. So let's call it current ammo. And for on reload, let's do current ammo and n32 total ammo. Set those up like so. And pass those in as parameters. So now we want to do what we're doing inside of here. So we construct an F text and set it from the string like so. So we can have get current ammo text like so and f text current ammo text and set it like so. And that takes care of our current ammo. So because that's short enough, we can just directly put it right inside of our on current ammo changed. Now we want to do for on reload is the exact same thing. So we want to update our current ammo and we want to do on total ammo changed as well. Except this time we want to change it from current ammo to total ammo, as well as change current to total. So that way they both output in kind of the same manner. So next up, let's go to our .cpp file. Let's go to our reload. And basically, actually, let's go to our fire first because we're calling on fire. What we can do instead is get access to our HUD so HUD and call on fire and pass in our current ammo. Do the same thing for reload. So we're going to grab our HUD, call on reload. We're going to pass in our current ammo and our total ammo. Now we want to basically, for the sake of simplicity, we can do the exact same thing. So when we actually create the widget, we can do HUD on reload just so it updates our current and our total ammo upon an, the initial creation well of the HUD. So let's go ahead and close down the editor and relaunch. Okay, so we have now got some errors here, or basically some complaints. And thankfully, we're able to see roughly a good idea of what those might be. So here we have basically the, well, the gen.cpp that is used for uh, reflection. We have on current ammo changed, and it shows a const ftext reference as the parameter. So it says overloaded member function not found in our class, so our UYT HUD. So it's saying it's not found even though we have the functions created, or the definitions of them created right here. Now if we look at our declaration compared to theirs, 
you can see ours is just nf text. That's all the parameter is. However, for theirs, it's showing a constant f text, and it's once it passed in by reference. So if you're familiar with doing RPCs at all and sending, like, let's say you make a server RPC and you want to pass a string to it. Well, that string has to be a constant reference, otherwise it won't let you compile. So this is just the reflections, or the I guess the Unreal header tools way of saying, hey, this is not what I want. This is what you need to do to pass it in. And basically it's just telling us the format, like the what, what it actually wants. So in this case, it wants a constant reference to whatever it is we are passing in. And that goes for both of these events. So if we change them both from F text to const F text by reference, and then build, we should not have any complaints. As you can see there, the build has succeeded. So let's go ahead and launch. All right. And once you go ahead and relaunch everything back up, what we can do is let's head over to our W underscore blueprint HUD and search for those events. So we have on current ammo changed and on total ammo changed. So on current ammo changed, we have our event. And on total ammo changed, we also have our event. So we can grab TB current ammo. We're going to go ahead and get it. Search for set text and plug it right in like so. Same thing for this one, but for total ammo. So set text and plug it right in. So we can compile save, go to our first person character. We want to disconnect all of this so it's not running, disconnect all of this so it doesn't run, and disconnect our on fire. So nothing inside of our blueprint whoops, nothing inside of our blueprint here is going to be interacting with our widget, only our C++ code. So let's hit save, hit play. We are updated correctly and instantly. And when I shoot, as you can see, our current ammo decrements. And when I reload, our total ammo decrements and our current ammo gets refilled. So we now just cleaned all of this up. We no longer need any of this at all, nothing related to our widget, and we can go back to our tutorial character, go down to our get current and get total ammo text, and remove those two functions as well. Because again, we are doing everything right inside of here, and keeping it nice and clean. So that was just another way that we can go ahead and improve on efficiency, and I'd say we are off to a very very good start, especially considering where we started from. Now in the next video, uh, I'm actually not entirely sure yet. I'm pretty sure there will be a next one, but either way, I'm going to stop this here and call it. So if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patreons, as well as you get early access to pretty much all of my videos, such as this one. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that is also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.